back everyone. Today I'm starting a new series featuring the top 10 figures in the modern age era. Now this is going to cover commons, uncommons, rares, super rares, and chase figures. And I'm going to do the top 10 from Marvel and DC. So these are going to be the top 10 commons in modern age. And our runner-up just out of the top 10 is Maxwell Lord. And the main reason for him being on this list is because of his trait. Lines of fire drawn to Maxwell Lord by opposing figures are blocked unless he's taking damage from an opponent's attack this game. So this is a really nice figure. And the only way you can actually kill him is you have to attack him from close combat first. And then once you do a click of damage from close combat then you're able to hit him from range. But until then, he's pretty tough, and then he has eight range, a 10 attack, 16 super senses, and that's incapacitate. So he's really good, he can be used as a blocker, very nice range, three targets with end cap, super senses is very nice. And this will be right outside the top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Livewire. Her special trait is, when there is no squares of water terrain within eight squares of Livewire, modify her damage by plus one. And if you look at her dial here, she is not a flyer, but she has a 10 attack, 16 energy shield deflection, and she has three damage. So you get that water bonus, like if she's not within the water, she gets a four damage. And she's only 75 points. She rounds out having a bunch of nice stats here, and it's a pretty decent sculpt here. So uh, yeah, I think she's pretty good common, and probably the 10th best roughly in the modern era of DC. And at number 9 we have Deadshot. Now this guy is a real nice powerhouse for only 89 points. The sculpt is amazing, it definitely is a little bit different than you're used to. But then we also have some stats and powers and stuff that makes this guy really powerful. 8 range, 2 targets, 8 movement with stealth, we have a 12 attack with a special power. This is where it really stands out here. If Deadshot has no action tokens and he occupies hindering terrain, he can use range combat expert and deals penetrating damage with that attack. This is incredible because he also has sharpshooter. So you can do that from close combat. Uh, you carry him, then he's able to do that the next turn. So I think this is a really good figure in the common slot and definitely has to be in the top 10. So here coming in at number eight, we have Green Arrow from the DC 75 set. The reason why I have him right after Deadshot is because I think he's he gives you a little bit more than Deadshot and gives you a little bit better defense because Deadshot had a lower defense with uh, just, you know, just toughness. Now with Green Arrow, we have combat reflexes, and then he later on, you know, he, he's just a figure that has a little bit better defense. He has a lower attack, but he still has everything that the other guy has for less points. Nine range, single target, but you have the range combat expert, and you still have sharpshooter. I think this guy gives you a, overall a little bit better ability to stay alive, um, a little bit less attack, but I still think this guy has to be in the top 10, and he comes in at number eight on my list. Coming in the seventh slot, we have Abin Sur from the Green Lantern Gravity Feed set from the movie. He's 50 points, but he has the Green Lantern team ability. This is what is gonna make him key to be on the list here. Because he has the Green Lantern team ability, he can carry multiple figures, but they all have to be walkers, not flyers. But he has a special movement power that allows him to be able to carry those types of figures. If Avancer carries only one character, he can carry as any single base character regardless of combat symbols. So that means you can carry flyers and stuff like that. That's pretty much all you're going to get with him. I think this is a very nice figure coming in at number 7. Definitely not going to be a powerhouse, but a very nice transport figure to carry other figures in. And definitely has to be in the top 10. Coming in at number six is Beast Boy. I really wanted to put him on the list because I really like the mechanics of him and the ability to be able to switch between the bear and the cheetah and also the T-Rex, but the T-Rex is a super rare, so we're not gonna really cover him in this video. But as commons, all of these common figures work really well together 
and I think you have a good chance of uh, doing what you want because you have a charger in the bear, you have a hypersonic with the cheetah. Um, the cheetah does do a little bit less damage, but with some perplex, it can be a, a really nasty figure. And with Beast Boy being able to morph into figures, and he's a really good tie-up piece because his defense is just incredible. And with the uh, leap climb, I think this is a really nice common figure and definitely has to be in the top 10. I love the ability to be able to morph into different figures. Uh, and it works out really well. Coming in at the number five slot, we have Johnny Quick. Now I really like this figure because it's a really cheap 50 point figure with hypersonic. And if you click him to his second click, he does have an activation click. He has hypersonic two damage with perplex. This is key. If you're fighting against somebody that has a bunch of damage reducers, you can perplex up his damage to a three and now he can get through all those damage reducers, but if you're fighting against a bunch of people that have no damage reducers, you can perplex up other people's stats or your own attack to an 11. For 50 points, you cannot go wrong playing Johnny Quick. He has to be in the top 10, and I have him at number five. Here at the number four slot, we have Guardians of the Universe. This is a variation of Ganthet. This is not Ganthet, but you know, supposed to be one of his, uh, you know, guys. Uh, guardians like him. He is uh, a very nice figure for 150 points. We have Phasen, Psychic Blast, 18 Impervious, Outwit, 10 range, single target. Um, he does not have Power Cosmic, but uh, it's a, this is a very, very powerful figure for only 150 points. You can't go wrong in this slot. I see a lot of people use this figure, and um, it, it works very well. It's definitely not the easiest or the most overpowering figure because it doesn't have the power cosmic like Ganthet, which is a little bit more points around 200 but with psychic blast impervious and outwit and in dom this guy is going to have a lot of options he's going to be a powerhouse and even if you have one click of outwit to go against him uh, like what are you going to outwit he's got outwit already and he has psychic blast and he has impervious and it's an 18 attack so if he's in hindering it's a 19 if you try to outwit the impervious and you miss your attack roll, now you're really hurting because he's he's gonna be able to nail it right back at you. I think this is a really good figure and comes in at the fourth slot. Coming in at the number three slot, we have Sinestro from the Gravity Feed. Now this guy is really, really good for only a hundred points. Look at this dial here. He has 11 movement with charge, 10 attack, and that is a 19 willpower with three damage exploit weakness at nine range single target. For only 100 points, his, his stats do go down once he gets hit, but it's pretty good long dial, and you might not ever get off of that 19 willpower. Yes, it can be outwitted, but this guy is really good for only 100 points. He can shoot, and he's really good at close combat. He had to be in my top five, and I have him at number three. I'm considering the Gravity Feeds commons because they pretty much are all the same equal, even though sometimes the Gravity Feeds are kind of hard to collect. But you can't really categorize them as uncommons or rares or super rares. Uh, so I just had to put them in, a, in the common slot. So this is where he is going to be placed on my list. Coming in at number two, we have the Fast Forces Supergirl. This is also a common in my book because you can pretty much get her if you really want to get the Fast Forces, so it's a common. The reason why she is number two is she's 100 points and she starts off with one of the most powerful uh, starting dials here. We have Hypersonic, Super Strength, and 17 Invulnerability with 4 damage. Uh, you pick up a heavy object with Super Strength, you're doing 6 damage on a crit, you're doing 7. Hyper, I mean... For 100 points, you cannot go wrong. Even if you decide to push her, um, she's still not terrible. Within the amount of damage you can do with those with a push, you end up on this click, and you're still doing good with that's exploit weakness as well. Uh, this uh, 100 point Supergirl is definitely uh, a really good figure. So coming in at number one, you knew what it was gonna be. It was the 300 point Superman. You can play him at 300 or 150. Both slots are going to be really powerful. Even at 150, I'd still say that's number one. It's just a really 
good figure. Along with the Superman TA, where you can see through stealth, he has hypersonic, super strength, 18, impervious, 5 damage, outwit. I mean, this guy is going to bring the house. I mean, just he's going to be able to knock you out within Dom, so you can do it back to back. Uh, same issue that the Guardian of the Universe has. There's just too many powers to outwit on this guy to make him not good. Uh, he's still got 8 range, so if you outwit his hypersonic, he can still shoot you and he has outwit. And I'm just telling you, I mean, if you outwit anything other than his outwit, he can just turn around, outwit your outwit, and then he's ready to go. I think this guy is amazing. Even at 150 points, he's still really good and has all the same powers. It just has a little bit less of stats, but it's still good. Very, very good. So that concludes my top 10 commons for the DC Modern Age. If you guys have any ideas on other figures that should be in the top 10, this list does not have those figures that are going to be retired very soon because I didn't want this video to be outdated. I wanted to get the most current DC figures. So any figures that are gonna be retired within the next couple months are not on this list. Um, that's why this list has limited figures. Uh, also with the Marvel list that we'll make, it's gonna be limited as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. All these figures in this video should be pretty easy to get because they're commons and you should be able to find them and they're not going to be that expensive. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my top 10 commons for DC Modern Age.